Hi, my name is Sarah Boyce, and I'm going to be the instructor for the first half of this semester for clinical phonetics. The second half of the semester, which will start after uh, fall break, is going to be taught by Dr. N. She'll be teaching the speech and hearing science portion of this course. Um, I'm really excited to teach this course. It's always so much fun. Uh, it's so applicable to clinical work. Um, I supervise graduate clinicians Monday through Thursday, and uh, we use transcription work a lot, whether it's um, speech assessments or language samples or maybe uh, reassessing to see if we need to modify or discontinue a goal. So I really like being able to teach the course and then hopefully at some point have some of you in clinic with me so you've already learned all this information. Um, it's a really fun course. I think um, it can be challenging, but please let me know when you have questions, if something's unclear. Um, I really want to be approachable for you guys and available. I do have students Monday through Thursday with me in clinic, so my office hours are Friday by appointment, um, but I'm also available on video chats throughout the semester if you can't make it to my office. Um, so that's an option as well. Uh, as far as a little bit more about me, not only am I a supervisor and an assistant professor, I also am married. Uh, my husband and I are from Michigan, and I moved down here about six years ago to start graduate school myself at ETSU. So I am an ETSU grad. Um, we just had, my husband and I just had our little boy in May. So I am a first-time mom teaching this course. I just got back to work about a month ago. So please be patient, but let me know if something's unclear um, or if you have questions like I mentioned before. Um, I'm hoping that things will run pretty smoothly. I kind of prepared for the course um, before I went on maternity leave. So we shouldn't have any problems, but let me know if we do. And I just wanted to go over the syllabus a little bit with you. So um, my contact information is on there as far as my email, my phone. My office is at the Johnson City Community Health Center. And I do have a TS, or excuse me, TA helping with the course, and that will be Tanvi. Um, Tanvi's email is listed there. Like I mentioned, I do um, on-campus office hours by appointment. Um, and it's actually not on campus. It would be at JCCHC. Um, we will do some video chat meetings for those of you who can't make it in for um, office hours. And I will try to respond within 48 hours any questions that you have on D2L. Um, I do like you all to ask questions on the discussion board that I've posted because more than likely if you have a question, someone else has the same one. So I'd like to be able to answer it for everybody to see the answer. Um, I do expect that you check D2L two to three, every two to three days. I put a lot of information on the news feed to remind you of things coming up or changes in the course. Um, I will email you once in a while, but more than likely any communication will be done through the news feed. Um, the course description and outcomes are listed there. Uh, you know, we really want you to be able to transcribe single word production um, using narrow and broad transcription and classify consonants as far as place, voice, and manner, um, classify vowels as far as height and tongue elevation, to be able to listen carefully to speech sounds and establish a strong and immediate association between the sound and then the phonemic symbol. Um, explain relationships of different dialects and disordered speech and transcribe the production of individual produced words and sentences. The text that we'll be using is um, clinical phonetics. You can use the third or fourth edition uh, the fourth edition is going to be the best choice because that's the one I'll refer to with page numbers in the lectures. Um, I've also listed on the bottom of page two um, some apps and websites that are really helpful in this course. Um, you'll see a couple of them offer information about compensatory errors, vowels, diacritics. 
Um, I really like these two apps, the Sound of Speech app and the Sounds of Production app. Both of those um, help you practice with pronunciation, um, and then some of them even have some practice um, that you can do. The Sounds of Production app, you can actually practice to make sure you're hearing the correct sounds. Um, as far as required re resources, uh, you definitely need to have access or be able to open um, PDF files, Word documents, PowerPoints, um, YouTube clips, because that's what the video lectures will be through. Um, and if you have any questions, you're welcome to contact um, ATS for any help in that. There's some information about academic policies some ground rules. I do want everyone to participate. Um, I will keep you up to date with announcements and materials. Um, make sure that we're submitting documents on time. Um, you do have to use your university email as opposed to your personal email. If you have any technical problems, again, contact OIT. That's going to be the primary contact. Um, as far as some course netiquette, um, so etiquette through the net, um, make sure if you're emailing me, you're including the course number in the subject line so I know who, uh, that it's from the class, a question regarding the class. Always um, address the email to myself and sign your name at the end of the email so I know who it is. Sometimes your emails will um, come with a nickname or something attached to them, so use your name that would be in my syllabus, please, or in the um, class list, please. Remember that um, both through D2L and through email, um, there are no facial expressions. So using comments, um, sometimes comments can be misconstrued, so be careful with your wordings. Um, your, Welcome to use emoticons if that's helpful. Um, let's see what else. Discussion boards. Um, this is going to be a primary means of communication for any current concerns you have regarding the course material. If you have questions, um, make sure you're reviewing those discussion boards and try to reply to those if you're um, going to add to that conversation rather than add a new topic. Um, you know, make sure that we're being respectful and courteous in those. Um, now on to the course requirements. So all assignments must be received by 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on the due date assigned. Um, late assignments or quizzes are not going to be considered for grading, so they will not be accepted unless prearranged with myself. Um, all of them you'll have ample time to complete. I've really um, cut down the material for this course since last year. So if you have spoke with someone who's taken this course before, know that I've tweaked it, made it a little bit easier and more manageable for the time allotted. Um, and as far as the total number of points, it'll be 300 for this portion of the course. Um, so You'll have a grade from my portion and a grade from Dr. N's portion, and those will get averaged together for a final grade of the course. As far as course material that we will be for grading, you're going to have um, five quizzes. Each of them are 20 points apiece, and there will be weekly quizzes the first four weeks. The fifth week, uh, excuse me, the fifth quiz will take place during week six. All the quizzes are true, false, and multiple choice. Um, they will include transcription, terminology, anatomy, and some other important points in the lecture. So they will be taken from the PowerPoints as well as the video lectures. Quizzes will be assigned on Mondays and due by Wednesdays at five o'clock. Um, this week will be the only week there's an exception, so this first week your practice quiz will be assigned today, Monday, the 24th. It'll be due tomorrow, the 25th, and then your quiz one will be assigned tomorrow, the 25th, and due the 26th. Um, so starting next week, week two, we'll begin 
quizzes are given on Monday and due on Friday. All quizzes are completed through D2L. Okay, after the quizzes, that's a total of 100 points. And then we have two transcription projects that are also worth 100 points. So the transcription project one, um, you're going to be transcribing a recorded uh, connected speech sample from a YouTube clip from a movie. I will provide that clip for you. You'll be asked to transcribe the dialogue that happens between two main characters in the famous scene of this movie, um, which will be explained a little bit further when it's closer to that transcription project time. Um, there won't be any articulation disorders in the first transcription project. It's simply to measure your ability to transcribe typical conversation using broad IPA transcription. All students are going to have the same video. However, this is an individual project. You are not allowed to work together. All right, the second transcription project is going to be transcribing a connected speech sample from um, the Princess Bride. The clip does include articulation errors, and so that transcription project is going to measure your ability to transcribe disordered conversational speech using narrow IPA. You'll transcribe all the same, you'll all transcribe the same video, but again, it's an individual project. And then lastly, you'll have the final exam that's worth another 100 points. This is going to be cumulative. Um, it'll be a combination of written material and transcription covering the lecture material and the chapters in the book. It'll be through from chapters 1 through 6 and 10. The final exam will consist of 50 true-false um, and or multiple choice questions. And again, like I said, it's worth 100 points. It'll be completed through D2L. There are going to be no makeups on quizzes, transcription projects, or the final exam unless it's pre-approved by the instructor. I will not accept late submissions. Um, I think I'm giving plenty of time to complete all the projects. Again, I've cut down the amount of material we'll go over, so I think it's completely doable. Um, and if there is a problem, please let me know ahead of time. As far as course grading, it's going to be on your performance of um, the quizzes, transcription project, and final exam. It'll be based on the total amount of points that you earn. The overall course grade, again, will be averaged from clinical phonetics section and the speech and hearing science section. Um, you'll see below is the grading scale, so you can check that out. And if we continue through page 7, you're going to start getting into the course schedule. So this will list week by week um, the topics that we'll cover and the due dates. So you'll see the first four weeks you have a quiz due each week. Uh, the fifth week we have the transcription project due. The sixth week we have our fifth quiz due. The seventh week we have transcription project two. And then the final week will be exam. So you do have something due every week. This is a short course because it's just half a semester. So um, we do have quite a bit to do, but um, I think you'll find that it's pretty manageable. As far as due dates, again, all quizzes are assigned on Monday, due on Wednesday with the exception of week one. Transcription projects are also due by 5 p.m. The final exam is going to be available from December 12th through the 14th. Um, and must be completed by 5 p.m. on the 14th. Now, fall break is um, the 12th and the 13th. You don't have to do the final exam during fall break, but it is available. Okay, and the next several pages have some student resources, such as the bookstore, disability services, um, student handbook, tutoring offerings, um, writing and communication, mental health, and some um, technical support if needed. So that is um, the syllabus in a nutshell. I am going to have you do a practice quiz. So I want you to use this video and the syllabus to answer those quiz questions. 
and if you have any questions let me know but that is due tomorrow the 25th by 5 p.m. Um, it is not worth a grade however I would like you to attempt the, to do the quiz to complete the quiz so that you know how um, to complete a quiz through D2L before your quiz one um, attempt and that quiz one will be graded. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm really looking forward to this course. I hope you all have a wonderful start to your fall semester and um, I look forward to getting to know you guys. Thank you so much.